Hey everybody, so today's video is gonna be my October book haul. Usually I'll have a fuckload of scary books to show you guys, but I'm gonna be so fucking busy in October, it's not even funny. First of all, a little update, I joined the PTA at my sister's school. Kinda was a bad idea because I really don't have time for that because of what I'm writing. And, um, but I'm actually really excited. I am the chairman of the book fair, so there's a book fair coming up and I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do for that. And, um, it's not gonna cut into my video making because, um, I have a lot of things that I wanna do this month because it is my favorite month ever. And I wanna talk about a lot of movies this month, uh, scary movies, scary books. Um, I have a scary story that I wanna tell you guys. Um, there's a doll head on my bookshelf. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Um, it's only been there for like a month and I got it at this house and I will tell you guys about that in a video. Then um, this weekend I'm filming a short spooky film that will be on here as a Halloween type of special. So I'm very, very excited about this month. And yeah, so today's video is the book haul and I'll be showing you guys some books that I got from the library and a book that I got from the Discovery Shop. So yeah, first book I have is from the Discovery Shop and it is called Looking for Mr. Goodbar by uh, Judith Rossner. This isn't a spooky book, but it is an adult. Um, I'm, I think it's a memoir if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's a memoir. I think it's nonfiction. But um, it's about this woman who is a teacher by day and at night she has sex with all these guys. So it's just a, like her, sort of like her confessions, I guess. And I am very excited about reading this, so I will be putting it somewhere where I can get to it, hopefully this month. But if not, then I, I will always have it. And I really love this cover. I really love covers like that. You can see, see a picture inside the words. I love that, so. Yeah, got this one. Then the next one I have is from the library, and it is A Midsummer Night Scream by Earl Stein. And what I did was I went ahead and I got the audiobook too, so that I could read along, just to try it out. This book, so far I'm reading it, currently reading it, it is not very scary, and it's actually pretty bad. And I love Earl Stein. I would not recommend it. Um, yeah, so. Um, I got this, I'm currently reading it, but it's, it's not very good. Yeah. Next one I have is a little one, a little book, and it's called How to Survive a Horror Movie by Seth Graham Smith, uh, with a foreword by Wes Craven. And this is all the skills to dodge the kills. And this is um, supposed to be nonfiction, and this just kind of tells you the guide on how to survive a horror movie, I guess. And, oop, receipt fell out. And I'm really excited about reading this. It's sort of, it's already falling apart, but I'm still gonna read it. And um, since it's gonna be Halloween and it's October and it's a spooky month, I thought I would get a couple of spooky books from the library to read, so got this one. Then the last one I have is a middle grade one. It is called Scary Stories 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones. They didn't have the first two, but I've already read these. I, used, I think I've read these, I don't know how many times. I used to own them all on paperback if they got all messed up and I had to give them away, but um, I need to buy them again. But I remember really loving this volume, so I'm glad that they have this one there. And this is illustrated by Brett Hillquist, right? I like the illustrations for these, but I like the originals better. But it's just a collection of spooky stories that are actually really, really creepy. So I'm excited about this. And yeah, so that's it. I know it's a little bit of books, but I really won't have that much time to read this month. And, um, but I'm gonna try my best. Go check out some of these books if you want to. And recommend some videos this month that you guys would like to see um, more spooky stuff, Halloween oriented things. Um, so yeah, um, and no tag videos. I told you guys I'm not doing tags anymore. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.